Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today and I so appreciate you coming to watch my videos. While I have your attention, don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss any of my wig related content. So today I'm gonna to bring you this wig review for Shirley's Wig Shop. Shirley has a really great private Facebook group. It's called Shirley's Wig Shop, Hair's Looking at You Kid, super cute name, super fun group. I'll put a link in the description so you can join the group. So today we're gonna to take a look at this style by Belle Tress. This is Milano. I have wanted to try Milano. She came out in the spring, I think, and I've been wanting to try her, but I waited because I wanted to try this brand new color called Buttered Toast R, color code 811-22 plus eight. And we're gonna talk about this color and this gorgeous style in just a second. Okay, so when I saw the name Buttered Toast R, I thought buttered toast, right? So I thought warmth and I thought, um, you know, a lighter brunette and all this guy. I, just, I didn't, what I didn't see coming was this totally cool toned uh, highlighted brunette, you know? Now I like the color, but I was thinking, is this gonna be the brown sugar sweet cream dupe, you know? I love brown sugar sweet cream from the Cafe Collection. So I have my Caliente here and I can firmly tell you, nope. <laughs> Other than having brunette and blonde in common, they don't have the same brunette, they don't have the same blonde. Brown sugar sweet cream is definitely a warmer color and this one is straight up cool toned. When I first looked at it in the box, I was like, okay, I'm gonna call that brunette neutral. But when I put it on, I was like, dude, this is straight up Cool toned. So for those of you who want a cool toned brunette and you want a cool toned ashy blonde highlight, you're going to love this. I love the color. I think it's beautiful. It's amazing to me though. In some light, it almost looks gray, y'all. I mean, but it is not gray at all. It is a just a cool toned brunette, ashy all the way. So I'll show you Milano. I mean, oh, this is a gorgeous style. The density, the length, just the slight subtle wave that goes through it, just giving it a little bit of body and a little bit of oomph, you know, oh, it's just so pretty. And then it does have this bang layer that I think you definitely could shorten and get more bang coverage for the forehead if you wanted that. So, but like I said, this color, totally cool toned. So really, really pretty, love it, love the style, love the color. So there's also some layering that's right around the face here, as you can see. So just really, really pretty style. Um, like I said, I just really love this just subtle wave. And the density on this piece is completely natural. I mean, it's just, there's never any permatease in these Beltras wigs, but um, there's just the right amount of hair. Sometimes the longer wigs do have a lot of hair and then they just appear fuller, you know, where I would describe some of them as more of a medium density. This one is a low natural density, just beautiful, beautiful style. So this is the uh, typical, you know, typical of the City Collection cap. It is the extended true temple to temple lace front. And I'll let you see those knots. They look really, really nice. So temple to temple lace front extends all the way to here on both sides, gives you that very natural hairline. And then we have the left mono part that goes to the crown, which is also very natural, which I love. And then coverage at the ear tabs is great. As far as the fit on my petite head, fitting me fine. I could bring the adjusters in just a little bit on this one, but it's not a deal breaker. Uh, so I'm 11 ear to ear, I'm 13 forehead to nape, I'm 21 inches in circumference, and there's just a little bit of extra room, which I would expect on an average size cap, but I'm just loving this because I am hearing from y'all that these Beltrest City Collection caps are fitting a whole a broad range of circumferences, which is just great. Okay, so the measurements that they give for Milano are eight to 18 inches on the sides. So they're in, including this front layer and then down here to the, you know, to the sides. So eight to 18 inches, 12 inches on the nape. So plenty of hair to do lots of fun styling. 
and then overall 20 inches. So long goes to my mid back. Just gorgeous, y'all. Okay, and then 5.5 ounces on the weight. So I'll show you that part up close so you can see how it extends back to the crown. Gives a little bit of a cowlick even at the very end, which is very natural. So here is that left mono part. Sorry, I got it. I must have pulled through a few hairs. Uh, so closed lace here, no permities. Extended true temple to temple lace front. Love that. Extends down that ear tab, soft ear tab with a metal stay, open webbed cap, Velcro adjusters on an, an extended soft nape. And these are the heat friendly fibers from Valtress, of course. You can see here that that rooting, it's kind of funny on this color because the rooting and the base color are the same. It has an eight at the beginning and then has a plus eight, which I thought was interesting. But anyway, it does have a root as you can see, but it sticks right along with that cool tone that we're seeing throughout the wig. So we'll go into the full description for this Buttered Toast R, which again is 8, 11, 22 plus eight. I think the reason they added that plus eight is just to let you know that it has a base of an eight, but they did leave a little bit of rooting before we go down into the combination of the brunette with the blonde highlight. So really, really pretty. Now, I could not find on Beltress's website or on any of the websites an actual description of this color yet, other than one that said it was supposed to resemble buttered toast and whatever, um, which I don't think it really resembles buttered toast, but whatever. So uh, the description that I just came up with is what I've kind of been giving you throughout the video. What I see is a cool toned brunette with a cool blonde highlight. So... You know, look at that. I mean, it's just clearly ashy, 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 which is great. You know, there we have a lot of warm brunettes in the wig market. You know, um, I think this there's definitely a place for this cool toned brunette with a cool toned highlight. So let's see. Yeah, you definitely see rooting when you separate the hair. I wasn't sure. So I don't see a lot of the rooting around the face. Well, I guess down here, once we get down toward the bottom of the ear tab, but you really have that combination there at the top. It's almost blended in some places with the blonde highlight and then other times it looks like a highlight. So. Okay, so here's the color in my, coming through my patio door. So you can see the dimension with the highlights. It's a lace front. Okay, so I'm under my patio cover. You can see the dimension with the brunette and the blonde. Still looks cool toned out here. You can see the blonde a lot more out here. I'll step into the sun. It's really windy though, so just <laughs> bear with me. Okay, so as I am combing out after being out there in the wind, <laughs> I'll just remind y'all to keep your wide tooth comb handy so that you're coming through these fibers. They're not tangling though, I'm really impressed. I don't think I have any tangles here, even with that wind and everything. So really nice. So very ear tuckable. Ear tuck, great for windy days too. You know, it's blowing in your face and all that. So, but I'll show you how easy the glasses are. Very easy to get up on top of your head. So, with a headband and all the hair will stay back in that headband if you'd like or you could pull out this layer where we're getting into those you know eight inches and if you wanted to add more curl to that you could 
When we do half up, half down, the front layer is probably going to want to come out. So, yeah, it is. So, you can just wear it out to have it half up, half down. Or if you want it, you know, you can tuck it behind your ear or you could bobby pin it right behind the ear if you just want it out of your face and didn't want it, you know, showing. Ah, I love styles like this, half up, half down. It's just so perfect because you can keep the hair out of your face and it, but it, and it just looks so natural. So, okay, beautiful ponytail, really nice. So she's got potential for updos and braiding and all kinds of fun stuff. So again, you're either gonna have to uh, bobby pin or just let that layer, I would just, for an updo, I would just pull out some layers. Just have some pretty layers around the face, you know, for a pony or an updo. Looks beautiful. So, loving Milano and loving this really beautiful, cool toned, highlighted brunette butter toast R. So thank you to Shirley's Wig Shop for sending this wig to review. I will post a description, uh, a link to purchase in the description getting tongue-tied, as well as a link to join the Facebook group. So thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye-bye.